Let's talk about marijuana and your brain. It's a rather complicated process, so let's start off with what's familiar to you. THC. THC is the chemical in weed that gets you high. You feel lightheaded. You feel giddy. Sometimes relaxed. Marijuana, you can smoke it. You can eat it in an extract of food. You can inhale it with a vapor pen or consume it in an oil form. It's especially good for little kids who are taking it as a medicine. No matter the method, THC goes through your bloodstream and into your brain. And there, the THC is going to latch onto these special receptors. When they are stimulated, you release dopamine. It sends signals to various nerve cells all around your body and makes the user feel high. Not all cannabis is going to get you stoned. That's because marijuana contains another chemical known as CBD. That's cannabidiol. Marijuana plants that have low THC and high CBD can work really well as a medicine. They can treat things like epilepsy, pain, the ravages of multiple sclerosis, chemotherapy-induced nausea, all sorts of different things. It works because the CBD chemical can quiet excessive electrical and chemical activity in the brain. I know this three-year-old girl who went from having 300 seizures a week to two per month after her parents gave her cannabis with high levels of CBD. When it comes to marijuana, there's some 500 different chemical compounds. All these compounds work together. It's something known as the entourage effect. It's important because you can't just take a chemical out of marijuana and make a medicine. You need the whole plant, especially when it comes to using pot instead of pills.